Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Golden Bachelorette Jess Palmer Talks Charles Ling's New Hope Golden Bachelorette host Jess Palmer is opening up and talking about the elimination that left Bachelor Nation heartbroken. Fans really adore Joan Vaso's suitor Charles Ling. Many were very disappointed when she sent him home on Wednesday night. Since Bachelor Nation was upset, what did Jesse think? Keep reading to find out more. Jess Palmer talks Charles Ling's elimination. Bachelor Nation fell in love with Charles Ling. Unfortunately, Golden Bachelor at Joan Vasos didn't. So she sent him home during Wednesday night's episode. Entertainment Weekly caught up with Jess Palmer after that and asked his thoughts on Charles being eliminated. Jesse thinks, in the end, it was a good experience for Charles. While Bachelor Nation misses him, he has newfound hope and that is great. He said, as heartbreaking as it is to see Charles return home, he has newfound hope, and I think that is so beautiful. Charles deserves to be happy, and he took a huge step outside of his comfort zone to be on the show. He is leaving with more confidence and as a better version of himself. Jesse also shared that the mood in the room that night at the rose ceremony was very emotional. It was filled with sadness because Joan truly did have a connection with all these men. Everyone there had become friends, so it was hard to say goodbye even for the men. Charles has fans everywhere. Charles Ling is not a name that will soon be forgotten among Golden Bachelorette fans. From exploring the mansion to telling Joan that Charles is not in charge, he stole hearts everywhere. Many are hoping they haven't seen the last of him. Since he has quickly become so popular, some are hoping ABC makes him the season 2 Golden Bachelor. The big question is would he accept the offer? Charles appeared on Bachelor Happy Hour, where he told Joe Amabel that he hasn't thought about it a lot yet. However, he added that he would do it. Why not? If being the Golden Bachelor doesn't work out, many fans are hoping that Charles will at least appear on Bachelor in Paradise. Jesse has shared that he hopes that ABC includes the Golden contestants in the upcoming season, which will film in 2025. Jess and Wells Adams both express they are excited and ready to get back to the beach. Jess Palmer could feel the tension in the air as he sat down to talk about Charles Ling one of the most intriguing contestants on the Golden Bachelorette. It wasn't just the usual cocktail of nerves and excitement that filled the room during these interviews. It was something different this time. Charles had recently found himself at a crossroads, and Jesse knew that this conversation would dive deep into that pivotal moment when everything changed for Charles. Charles is one of those guys who surprises you, Jesse said, his eyes lighting up as he leaned forward reflecting on the journey that had brought Charles to this point. He came into the show with a lot of walls, and I think he didn't even realize how much he was holding back until it was almost too late. But then, something shifted. And that's what's giving him a new hope. Charles Ling, the dapper 63-year-old retired lawyer from San Francisco, had quickly become a fan favorite. With his salt and pepper hair and a calm, measured demeanor, Charles exuded a sense of wisdom that drew people in. But while he was often seen as the steady rock in the sea of contestants, there had always been an undercurrent of hesitation in his actions. Until recently. Now, as the competition neared its final stretch, there was a palpable change in Charles, and Jesse was eager to dive into what had sparked that transformation. When Charles first came on the show, Jess began, I think he was more focused on the concept of finding love than the actual experience of it. He had been through a lot, divorce, losing a close friend, navigating a life where he had felt he'd seen it all. It was almost like he was here to check a box. Okay, I've done everything else in life. Now let's see if I can find romance again. But love doesn't work that way. It's not a task you can plan for, especially when you're in a situation like the Golden Baccalaureate. It catches you off guard. For Charles, it was the unexpected moments that began to chip away at the walls he had built. He had formed meaningful connections with some of the women, 
but the spark of real hope came during a simple conversation over coffee with one of the quieter contestants, Denise. It wasn't the grand, orchestrated moments, like the romantic candlelit dinners or the extravagant group dates, that changed him. Instead, it was the intimate exchange of stories about their children, their fears, and their shared dreams of what love could still look like at this stage in life. I remember watching Charles during that coffee date, Jess recalled with a smile. There was this moment where he just stopped talking, and for a second, it looked like he was really seeing Denise, not just as a contestant, but as a person. That's when I knew something had changed in him. He started to let his guard down. But even as Charles found a glimmer of hope with Denise, his journey wasn't without its challenges. In a dramatic twist, he was blindsided by another contestant, Evelyn, who had been one of his stronger connections early on. Evelyn, with her fiery personality and boldness, had seemed like a perfect match for Charles, but their romance took a sudden nosedive when she revealed that she wasn't ready for the kind of commitment Charles was seeking. Jesse shook his head as he recalled that shocking turn of events. I think Charles was crushed by Evelyn's decision, but it was a wake-up call for him. He had been holding on to this idea of what his journey should look like, and Evelyn was a big part of that. When she left, he had to confront the fact that love isn't something you can control. It's messy. It's unpredictable. This revelation was a turning point for Charles, who had always prided himself on being in control. Letting go of that control, however, opened the door for something deeper. It was almost like he needed that heartbreak with Evelyn to really see what was in front of him, Jesse mused. He had been so focused on finding someone who checked all the boxes that he missed the quiet, beautiful moments with Denise. When Evelyn left, he finally saw Denise for who she really was. The person who made him laugh, who listened to him, who understood the things he wasn't even saying. Charles, who had been quiet and reserved for much of the season, began to change. He started taking more risks, showing more vulnerability. In group settings, he was more engaged, more present. And on his one-on-one -on -one dates with Denise, there was a newfound sense of freedom. The Charles who had once been cautious and guarded was now open, willing to explore the possibility of love in a way that surprised everyone, including himself. I think what's giving Charles hope now, Jess explained, is the realization that love at this stage of life isn't about finding perfection. It's about finding someone who complements your imperfections. And Denise? She's not flashy. She's not the most outspoken woman in the room, but she's real. And I think Charles is starting to see how important that is. Jesse smiled, his voice filled with a sense of admiration for Charles' growth. At the beginning of the season, if you had asked me if Charles would be one of the final dice standing, I would have said no. He was too cautious, too unsure of himself. But now? Now, I'm not so sure. He's a different man. He's found something in himself that he didn't even know was there, and that's given him a new hope. As Jesse wrapped up the conversation, he couldn't help but reflect on the journey Charles had taken. It was a testament to the fact that love, no matter your age, is always a journey of discovery, of yourself, of others, and of the unexpected moments that can change everything. Charles has a chance now, Jesse said softly, almost to himself, a real chance.